today I just want to say thank you guys for coming out. Um, thank you guys for coming out to Woo Sunday, Women United and Unashamed. Um, it took a lot for me to get on this stage. I am definitely a testimony of uh, yes, because I was like no. I was like no for so many years, but you know I got tired of running. So we're going to just get right into the word. Lee, if you can keep playing for me. Um, we're going to read from Luke 1, 26 through 38 in the New King James Version Bible. So if you have your um, phones or if you have your Bible, we can go there. And if you got it, say amen. Amen. <laughs> got it? Okay. <laughs> that was quick. Now, in the sixth month, oh, okay, see, <laughs> Luke 1, 26 through 38. When you there, say amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Okay. Amen. Now, in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. But when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and considered what manner of greeting this was. Then the angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the son of the highest. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom, there will be no end. Then Mary said to the angel, how can this be? Since I do not know a man. And the angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore, also, that Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Now, indeed, Liz Elizabeth, your relative, have also conceived a son in her old age. And this is now the sixth month for her, yeah. who was called barren. For with God, nothing will be impossible. Yeah. Then Mary said, Behold, the maid servant of the Lord. Let it be according to your word. And the angel departed her. The title of my message today is Come Out of Hiding. All right. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Lord, I thank you, Father God, for this opportunity to minister your word, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that the people do not see me, but they see you. You will speak through me. I resist any nerves, any fear. And I thank you for your power that's flowing through me. I thank you, Lord, that their hearts are open and ready to hear and receive from you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So, how many mothers do I have in the room? Do I have some mothers? I need y'all to make some noise. Woo! That's good. Or you could be a caretaker, whatever. You still, you still get, you still get credit. But I have three boys, and Lord knows my boys are off the chain. Okay, like they fight all the time. That's all they do. Like they fight all day. And even Cairo, the smallest one, he's ten months. He be fighting too. Like, I'm like, okay, Lord, I, now all I say is, you know what, you need a Band-Aid, just go get a Band-Aid. I, I can't help you because they just be fighting all the time. Like, it's just, ooh, I just be wanting to run up a wall. But my youngest one, I remember being in the delivery room, and he was so big that when I pushed, he would not come out. He would not come out for anything. Like, his shoulders were so large that he got stuck behind my pelvic bone. And I remember the doctor saying, the midwife telling me, J.R., you have to push. And so I pushed. And she literally took her hand and pulled him out by the head. What I believe that God has to say to some of you today is, what you have on the inside of you is so big that all he needs you to do, to, all he needs you to do is push, and he's going to pull that out of you. Amen. Amen. But the question is, are you ready to come out of hiding? All right. Okay, let me go to my text right quick. Um, in Luke 1, 26 through 27, it says, now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. Now Mary was 14 years old and she was engaged. And y'all might look at me like, 14 years old and engaged? Well, back then, they arranged their marriages. Right. Um, they would have, families would get together and they would be like, okay, well, I like you, you like me, you having a son, you have a daughter, let's, let's put them together. And they would literally be as young as two years old and engaged. Now that's wild because I can't, I can't uh, pair my two-year-old up with nobody because y'all, he is a trip. But <laughs> I'm serious. But what we can learn about Mary here is that she was inexperienced. What God, I believe God wants to say to you today is, he doesn't need your experience to be used by you. 
I mean, to be used by him. He doesn't need your experience. All he needs is your yes. But are you willing to come out of hiding? In Luke 28 through 29, it says, And having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. But when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and, and considered what manner of greeting this was. When the angel came to visit Mary and told her what she would be carrying, she was afraid. That's what the devil would use. The first thing that he would use when God reveals to you your purpose is fear, to keep you from, to cripple you into hiding. But we have to understand is fear is weak. I am a living testimony today. When I tell you I had so many breakdowns, like, Lord, I'm not qualified. I can't do this. But he's like, I'm not using you in and of yourself. I'm using you because of my son, Jesus. And I have a purpose and a plan for your life. But I need you to say yes. It is time to come out of hiding. And I believe there are some women in this room that have been hiding for too long. God has a purpose in your life. He has put a purpose on the inside of you, and he needs you to push. Your purpose is bigger than your job. Your purpose is bigger than that mate that you, that you think you're going to marry. Your purpose is bigger than that. But are you ready, and are you willing to come out of hiding? For so long, I kind of gravitated into hiding. I was like, you know what? You know, if I'm in seclusion, you know, all my insecurities are not on display. Can't, can't nobody pick out and all, all, the, all my failures, all my faults. They can't see that. And so I just kind of gravitated into being a beggar. You can ask my husband, like when we go, when we would go on like family um, gatherings, I would like literally stand behind him. And he would be like, okay, he, he's a very like outgoing person. I was not like that because I was just like a shy person because of insecurities. But God is going to use your rejection, those things that you have struggled with in, in, in the dark. God is going to use that to birth your purpose in you. On, he's going to use your testimony to set somebody free. He is saying today that it is now time to come out of hiding. There is healing in your yes. There is deliverance in your yes. On, there is breakthroughs in your yes. Come on, come God on. cannot order your steps if you're not walking. That's He's good. saying it's, today it's time That's for you good. to step out. It's time for you to, to, to look at fear in his face and say, you cannot have me. That's I told fear today, I am a living testimony. I told fear today that you will not have my purpose. Come I know on. what God has called me to do. No longer will you play me like a puppy. You can't have my purpose. I'm going to walk out what God has called me, called me to do today. I don't care if I fall flat on my face. As long as I stepped out and tried. That's I will right, never forget right. Joyce Meyer saying that, you know, some people are scared to step out on their purpose because they are afraid of failing. They think, I don't know if I heard God or not. Like, I don't even know. But she said, the best thing to do is step out and be, in complete, be completely in the wrong thinking you heard God fall flat on your behind. But at least God can pick you back up and put you where you're supposed to be. That's how loving he is. That's how full of grace and mercy he is towards you. And he wants to pick you up today. He wants to pick you guys up today and put you where you're supposed to be. But are you willing and are you ready to come out of hiding? And like Mary, she was like concerned. She was like, hold up. You know, people are going to criticize me. People are going to talk about me. They're not going to believe me. Yeah. They're going to think that I just got married to you because I was pregnant. Yeah. Shoot, my husband ain't going to even believe me right. <laughs> because he's going to think that I stepped out on him. But you have to be willing to step out amongst the criticism, no matter if they talk about you, yeah. no matter if your family leave, leave you. You have to be willing to step out. All he needs is your yes. Yeah. Yeah. Are you guys ready to come out of hiding? Yeah. Are y'all ready to come out of hiding? Yeah. God has a purpose on each and every single one of you. No matter if you don't feel qualified, he sees something in you that you have yet to tap into. He has put those things on the inside of you that you need. The Bible says in Luke 35 that his Holy Spirit, his power will overshadow you. Yeah. He will overshadow you. God will overshadow you in whatever you, ha you are called to do. So you can't do this in and of yourself. Amen. Stop trying to figure it out. Yeah. Stop trying to put things together. And I know with me, I was kind of like, okay, well, Lord, I know that you called me to speak. Um, you know, at some capacity, not the pastor, that's, that's my husband's job, but I know you called me to speak at some capacity, but that's, that's scary. I ain't, I ain't got time for that. That's a little scary, so I'll just stay over here, and I'll just go and do, how many of you have seen Girl Code before? Yeah. Anybody here seen Girl Code? Yeah. I've been like, okay, that's good enough for me. I don't got to be in front of no people. They ain't going to be looking at me like I'm crazy. I can just see myself, but God is like, no, I am calling you into the deep, and I believe that's what God is doing for you today. He is calling you guys into the deep, Amen. and you may wonder how it's going to get done. Don't worry about how it's going to get done. There are some people in here that say, Lord, I know that you have called me to birth children, but I know what the doctor said. Some of you may say, I know that you have called me to start this business, but I don't have the money or the finances to start a business. Some of you may say, Lord, you told me to go to college, 
but I don't have the finances to even start, to even start. But God said, I don't need your money. All I need is your yes. Let me open the doors for you. Stop trying to figure it out. And that's how we are. I know we are as humans. We, we try to, we want to, I know I am. I'm like a perfectionist and I have to have everything written out. I have to have everything planned. And if I don't have it all together, I'll be overwhelmed. But God has said, I need you to let that go. I need you to let me be God in your life. And that's what God wants to do. He wants to be God in your life. He wants to use you. He has a purpose for you. He has a plan for you. No matter what other people may think about you, no matter what you may feel like that you, you are not capable or what you've done, God has a plan and a purpose for you, for you. And when he's looking at you, he sees Jesus. He don't see your, your mistakes. He don't see your past. He don't see your disappointments. He see you. And just like God ministered to the broken today, let him minister to you today. It is time to come out of hiding. All right. Amen. God is looking for some women out there who are willing to step out. He is, they, he is looking for women who are re- willing to step out of their comfort zone. It is uncomfortable being up here. I'm telling you, the devil tried so much to keep me from getting up on this stage. This, you can ask my husband, like for a month, I was trying to start arguments with him. I was like, nope, okay, we got an argument, I can't preach. I used, my kids were all, I couldn't even prep the way I wanted to because my kids was all over the place. The devil literally tried to attack my body last night. I didn't sleep. Y'all, I'm, I'm operating off water, so y'all, y'all keep me lifted. But I literally did not sleep last night because I, I, I just got sick, and I was sick this morning. And my son woke up and wasn't feeling well as either, but I was like, you know what, devil? I'm going to step out. That's right. I'm going to step out regardless. I don't care. I'll let God do the work. I'm just going to go step out and open my mouth, and that's how you have to be. You have to do it anyway. There is power in doing it anyway. Yeah, That's what yeah, we can yeah. learn from Mary. She did it anyway. Yeah, 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 regardless yeah. of how she felt, regardless of the things that she would face in the, in the, uh, the future, she did it anyway. Imagine, her, imagine if she would have said no. Yeah. Who else would God have used? Because obviously they went to her because he felt like she was, the, she was the perfect fit to bring forth the son of Jesus. That's right. That's right. That's God right. has life on the inside of you that he's ready to, is ready to be birthed. Yeah, yeah. And if you continue to try to hold it in, after a while it gets uncomfortable, That's just right. like in labor. You have contractions. You, you feel like you have to push. God is saying he needs you to push today. God has something bigger. He has something greater on the inside of you. He needs you to trust him. He needs you to come out of hiding. Amen. God is tearing down layers of rejection today. Yes. Yes. He's tearing down layers of brokenness today. Yes. He's tearing it down. This is exactly, God ministered this message to me first. He really like, that was healing, literally. The healing in your yes is not just for somebody else, but it's for you too. There was healing in me stepping out today. I made every excuse not to step out. Every single excuse. I said I was not qualified. I broke down, you can ask my sister, I broke down crying like a couple of days ago. I was like, I can't do this. I talk too fast. I stutter. I don't, I'm not like, you know, the typical, praise the Lord, pastor's wife. But God is like, no, I have wired you that way for a reason. God has wired you the way that you are for a reason. He has given you your height. He has given you your personality. He has given everything that you that makes up you as a person. He has given it to you because there is somebody in particular that he wants you to reach. And only you can reach them. Only by your voice that you can reach them. And you may look back, and, and, and I hate Instagram. Now, I, I deleted Facebook and Instagram for a couple of days. I'll be back on there in, in a little bit. But <laughs> I'll be back on there. But I had to delete it because... I started comparing myself. I started looking at all these different, these different names. I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I can't do that. Like, shoot, I don't even know I'm gonna be able to walk in these hills up there. But God is like, no, I have something on the inside of you that you have got to get out. And there, somebody is called to every single one of you in this room today. Everything is not on a platform. It could be somebody in your classroom. It could be somebody on your job. You are called to somebody. All he needs is your yes. All he needs is your willingness to go, willingness to go. And he's, what he wants to say to you today is, come out of hiding. Listen, they preached my message <laughs> earlier today, but God is saying, come out of hiding. And I believe there's some women in here today. I believe that there's some women in here today who have, just like I have, struggled with coming out of hiding. You were afraid. You've dealt with insecurities. You've dealt with rejection. My father wasn't there as a, as a child. So that was rejection planted in me as a seed. And growing up, I just kind of got over it. And I'm like, oh, I thought I was healed of it. But when I actually stepped out and said, yes, that I would do this today, God started tearing layers of rejection. I was like, oh, I thought that I was healed. God wants to do that. There's something on the, probably on the inside of you that you thought that you were over with, but there is healing in your yes. There's healing in your yes. So I